Alabama, and uh, I'm going to ask her some questions about the Great Depression. So, start off with... Tell, tell them how old your great-grandma is. Um, great-grandma. 92. Ni 92. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, how, uh, how old were you, like, during the Great Depression, like, your age? No, how old were you during the Depression, Mom? Oh, during the Depression. Yeah, how old were you? Well, I can tell you, the depression was in the 30s. Yes, yes. So that didn't help that. <laughs> well, you were, you talked about being, you know, not having shoes to wear to school. That's right. So you were like, what, five or six years old maybe at that time? Yeah. Uh, well, I wasn't old enough to go to school. Yeah, school, right. right. Yeah, and you didn't have back. kindergarten back in those days. I so. Where did you live? We lived, uh, we lived in what I guess you'd call it the Tucker's Chapel community. Well, it was because it was right there at, you know, you about there was mm -hmm. the Tucker's yeah. Chapel. That's where we lived. It's back up on the mountain, like under above Santa Rosa. Would so that be Cherokee County or would it have been DeKalb? Huh? Would it have been Cherokee you know, or DeKalb? Really, I really don't know what that's in DeKalb. Sure. I imagine it would be. I think, yeah. I would say it was. To, I would say it would be in the cab. It'd yeah. be very close to the. Yeah, line. I know it is. It would be close to the line, but yeah. I imagine it's it's to Cab County. So yeah. Do you um? Do you remember hearing about the stock market crashing? Do yeah. you remember what when the yeah, stock market I'm crashed? Sure. That's what created the depression. You know, that's when it all began. So. I, of course, I wasn't big enough. You were to little. Realize and know what. Oh, I meant at that time, yeah. you know. But yes, I do remember when it crashed. Good. I, tell him the story about um, when your grandfather, Cochran, mm -hmm. who lived with you all, Yeah. tell him how you got shoes to go to school. He made the baskets, the white oak baskets. Yeah, made the baskets. He made his steps. He had a long From scratch thing. Trees. He had a knife. He had a long pole. That he laid this uh, white oak, he had to make splits out of love. Mm -hmm. And they, of course, they had these small trees, you know, not, not too big. And uh, he made his splits with a knife. He had a drawing knife. I guess, I guess that's what you call it. That's what he got when he was in the Oh, yeah, that, yeah, I know what you're talking about. I don't know what you would call that, too. He draw but... off, um, I don't know how he got them all to say. You're the same size and uh, width, but he uh, made them long. And of course, uh, he was limber, you know. Mm -hmm. He wasn't very thick. Like I said, I don't know how yeah. he got them to do as well as he did, you know, without breaking. Mm -hmm. And that's how he started out. Did they have to be cured in any way, or could you just make them immediately when I you took it off the tree? I was sitting there trying to think. I don't know how that he would have had to have had small poles to make them out of. Oh, yeah, it would have to be saplings. He may have, I can't remember that, but he may have sprilled, you know. Yeah. Sprilled. Yeah. And, and then, then that's how he cut the tuck a big slice for them or the fruit would set up. White oaks had to be white oaks. And spread it. Made the baskets. So the baskets were a little many to buy shoes for the two kids that were in school. And there and were others, the, the two younger ones, to get shoes. Make all size baskets, from little egg baskets, you know, long baskets, big old cotton baskets we call them. I bet you remember that. Those things would be worth fortune you know, if you find them in good condition. Yeah. Did you uh did you ever have to like give up some like your family did y'all ever have to give up like personal belongings to like you know for like food or you know anything that y'all like anything y'all really needed during the time y'all had to like give up stuff like that? Did you have to give up any of your personal things to provide for the family? Like did you have to sell uh, furniture or anything that you had? Yeah. In fact we lived pretty good. We lived on the farm, we grew our meat and lard and all that, yes. you know. 
You didn't go to the store and for milk. We had lunch. milk cows in the pasture. Mm -hmm. We milked cows and had our butter. And we had stuff at home. Well, you know, we I asked Mom that question some time ago. I, I said, were you ever yard, hungry? And barn, she said, no. Chickens. Cows in the barn. So we just didn't buy You lived us. in the city, like big cities, I think you suffered. But, you know, yeah. if you lived on a barn, You're you, just used to you grew used what you to needed. Yeah. Did y'all yeah. have a pig? Huh. Did y'all have a pig? Did you have a pig? Oh, yeah, we right. kill a couple of hogs every year. I always kill two. We yeah, how much? One. Chickens and, you know. And, you know, you cut the fat out of them. You rendered the fat, and that's what you made lard, and that's what you yeah. cooked your food with. And Cook that out short in the spot, like your lard. How much, uh, how much land did y'all have? How much land did you well, have when you were there? Well, we was We didn't own place and I don't know how much land but it was a big farm, pretty big farm probably grew cotton and corn. Yeah, it would have had to be in probably at least 40 acres or maybe more, you know, depending on... At that on time we didn't own any yeah. of the land. We rented it. We paid rent. So much of the stuff it growed on it. It was like sharecropping. If you had you raised your own the crops and stock, share of it. you know, we feed, feed your stock and work it and all. Well, you usually, you didn't give them a lot of for what you made. Mm -hmm. But if they furnished all that, then you give them half of it. Mm -hmm. And the haze, farm on the haze, or the other way, I don't know what to call that. Well, it was called sharecropping, and that is why. Well, speaking of, speaking of the, the war, um, you couldn't buy much of that. Didn't y'all, didn't y'all? Um, couldn't buy food, did Didn't y'all have like, airplanes? Like, I know, we over. didn't have uh, Yes, we did. We did. There would be squadrons, I guess, or probably whole companies, and you know that's how. That was as close as we got to the war. But if you ever got on a bus, like we would take the bus sometimes between Collins, well, there was the bus route to Gadsden, which was a city of size, you know. And um, when you got on the bus, the it was full of military, and they got first. Dibs. I mean, if they need to be on the bus, then you didn't get them if there wasn't room. And then you you gave your seat out of courtesy. I don't know that it was expected or uh, or rude, but you know, to the military that were moving from base to base. So. <laughs>